Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about the intercompany sales and purchase order synchronization. Let's consider a parent company ABC has got two subsidiary companies, company A and company B. Company sells the product to the external customers and company B is a manufacturing company or supplier company. So whenever company A finds low stock of the quantity, company A has to purchase the item from company B for resale. So from this, we can understand that there is an intercompany relationship where the company A uh, purchases the goods from company B for resale. So in order to manage with the intercompany transactions, we need to set up the companies. So let's move on to the uh, general settings of Odoo to manage the companies. So as you just move on to the users and company, you would be able to find the companies that we have just created over here. And under the users, ensure that we have just set the allowed uh, companies as well as the default company over here. So we know here we are going to purchase the item from company B. So you can set the company B as the default company and uh, which means company A will be purchasing the items from company B. Now uh, let's uh, move on to the general settings and enable the intercompany transactions. So we need to enable intercompany transactions for both company and uh, we need to just um, synchronize the sales and purchase order uh, and that will be creating by Michelle Admin and uh, for company A we will be using the warehouse as company A and we uh, need to automate the sales or purchase order so you can just enable that field as well as we also need to copy the loads on delivery uh, val validations so we can just enable that and uh, later on you can just um, move on to the document layout and we need to just configure the document layout for both companies and um, ensure that we have just set the proper charts of accounts so in order to ensure that let's move on to the i mean uh, general settings of accounting module in the uh, general settings uh, you can find the physical localization over here and we have just set everything proper now let's move on to the company b and ensure that we have just given all data properly so here we have just set uh, the physical localization for the company and let's move on to the general settings and ensure that we have just enabled the intercompany transactions uh, and we have just set the uh, yeah layout and all over here. Now to perform the intercompany transactions we have to enable both companies over here and the base company will be company B and here we are just going to create an RFQ so upon the confirmation of, of the RFQ, a sale order will be automatically created over there as we have just enabled the auto um, validation uh, and here you can also see that uh, as we are just going to purchase the item from company B, we have to just create the RFQ from company B uh, by setting the vendor as company A. Now let's move on to the purchase module of, uh, yeah of company B and let's create a new RFQ. So here you can just choose a company. So here a company vendor as company A and here you can just choose a product. So as you just click on more, you would be able to find the products over here. So let me search my product uh, where I'm going to choose the product as customizable desk and here i want five quantity of customizable desk and let me just get into the internal link of the product and you would be able to find that the on hand quantity of uh, this product is currently zero and we need to just copy the load number on the delivery validations so um, just uh, go to the inventory and make sure that you have just enabled the road buy for this product and we will be tracking by loads and here you can just save this so uh, later on we can just confirm this uh, rfq so let's move on to the rfq that we are dealing with and uh, let's confirm that so as we just confirm now we need to receive the product into the stock now here as we have just enabled the load by load you can just provide the load over here so here you can just set the load number which is lot01 for this five quantity so we know we will be providing the load number for a group of product 
So we haven't received the product into the stock. So in order to receive the product into the stock, just click on validate so that you can see that uh, currently we would be having five quantity in our stock. So when you just move on uh, to the internal link of the product, you would be able to find that the product quantity now has set into uh, five because we have just received the item to the stock. Now you can see that a purchase from this uh, upon the confirmation of the purchase order, a sale order will be automatically synchronized in company A by uh, sitting company B as a customer. Now, as you just move on to the uh, sales module, um, you can just remove my quotations and here you can see that, uh, as, I mean, a new um, sales order is created over here by sitting company B as the uh, customer. So let's move on and you would be able to find that customizable desk with the quantities and all. So the quantity that is requested will be 5 and we haven't delivered the quantity uh, to the customer. Now let's uh, try to deliver the item to the customer. So currently you can see that the product is set to not available. And now we need to just assign uh, the load or we can just import the load. So if you want to import the load, uh, you can just import the load over here. So let's set the load as lot01 now let's generate that and here you can see we have just uh set the load and let's save this and um, uh later on we can let's save i mean save this and we need to set the quantity as five okay because we know we will be um performing load number for group of product so we have to set the quantity likewise and um, we can uh, just try to validate the process. Uh, so currently the product is available and click on validate. So you need to supply load uh, number. Here we have to provide the load number. Let me change the quantity to 5 because we are importing this load for this quantity. Now click on validate. And you can see that we have just delivered the item to the customer. Here we can only just perform uh, with the coping of the loads. Okay, we cannot just uh, import the serial number for the product because we have enabled uh, the import load numbers on the delivery. Uh, by enabling that feature, you can just copy the load number um, of the item that we have given in the purchase order. So as you just move on to the traceability, you would be able to find the load that we have used. And uh, you can also see the detailed operations uh, that is the stock movements and everything. And under the valuation also, you you will be getting all the details uh, related to this um, the intercompany sales and purchase auto synchronization. So this is how we manage with the intercompany sales and purchase auto synchronization. Uh, and if you want to just create a deli I mean uh, the invoice, you can just click on with further process by. Just creating the regular invoice and you can just confirm that and uh, if you want to just preview your uh, yeah things over here like the invoice and all you can see that and you can find all the details over here and that's cool and that's all about the video so i hope this video clarifies your doubt on intercompany sales and uh, purchase order synchronization so if you want any auto customizations or auto tutorials feel free to contact cyprosis so thank you for watching the video